video that we're going to have a look at a DeWalt kit. Uh, the reason you haven't seen me upload a video in the last couple of weeks is because I've been working on this. So today we're going to have a look at this uh, DeWalt five-piece brushless kit and uh, I'm just going to talk a little bit about what all this uh, these different terms mean because it can be a little bit confusing uh, the different what is the atomic range what is the XR range is it 18 volts is it 20 volts is it flex volt uh, DeWalt have all these different kind of uh, series of tools and it can be a little bit confusing but it's really important that when you buy a kit that you know exactly what model of tools are going into that kit because I've heard of a lot of people uh, buying a kit expecting to get a whole lot of brushless tools and they open it up and they find that two of the tools are brushless and three of the tools or however many are actually brushed versions older versions of the tool and that's why they got it at a, at a very reasonable price now so so what I'm saying is do your research first make sure you search up on the, on the web and have a look at what model numbers are exactly in the kit and you might find out the reason why the kit is so cheap is because there's some things in there it's not the latest technology um, and that's why the kit is, is cheaper so let me just talk a little bit about the different ranges of tools in the DeWalt ecosystem first of all there's the 20 volt max range of tools now this is a brushed version of their tools of their battery powered tools a brushed version means the motors aren't as powerful and they're not as long lasting they're also not as efficient when it comes to battery usage and so 20 volt max actually there's a little asterisk um, if you go on the website the DeWalt web website you'll see uh, if you scroll down at the bottom of the page they've got a little note there saying it's 20 volts when the battery is fully charged and not under load when it's under load it operates as 18 volts so it's a bit of a marketing strategy from DeWalt. Certainly doesn't mean that they're not good tools. It just means they're very clever at marketing. And so don't be fooled. If you see an XR series of tools and a 20 volt max series of tools, if the 20 volt max is cheaper, the reason is, is because it's older technology. The XR series of tools is a brushless version. And so if you see XR on the battery, it means that that battery, it's not necessarily more powerful, still 18 volts, but it means you can have a longer lifetime, a longer run time out of that battery. More, more amp hours, basically. Now, if you see XR on the tool itself, on the skin, then it means that the motor in the tool is a brushless motor. So just bear that in mind. DeWalt also has a flex volt, which is kind of like their top end the top top end of the range which is an 18 to uh, 56 volts I think it is or 54 volts um, it, which switches between the two so depending if you have the right tool it can actually detect uh, when it's got a flex volt battery and it may actually use all the volts uh, so it gives you more power but it gives you a shorter battery life or if you plug it into an older version of the tool, it'll give you 18 volts, but you'll get a longer battery life. So just bear that in mind. Those are kind of like the three main levels in DeWalt. So you've got the 20 volt max, which is brushed, the XR version, which is brushless, and the flex volt version, which alternates between the two voltages, which is also brushless. Now this kit is the Atomic Compact series of brushless tools. And the Atomic series is a compact form of the XR brushless tool. So you can get a, a drill driver. This is a hammer drill driver, but it's the Atomic one, which means it's slightly smaller. It's got a little bit less power, but it's lighter in weight. And it's the same for the impact driver. These three tools here are not the compact version. They're the normal XR version of those tools. So just bear that in mind. When I had a look at this, I thought, you know what? The Atomic version of their tools are aimed more at the DIY person doing home renovation. If you're in the trades, 
and you're in construction or something like that, I would advise you to get the XR version or the FlexVault version, the normal brushless tool. It's a bigger tool. It's probably a little bit more robust. It's going to last longer. So, but for me, the Atomic version was perfect for what I needed and it was at a really good price. So, I would, if you're buying a kit like this, have a look at what the model numbers are in the kit. Make sure you're getting everything that you think is in the kit. And having said that, maybe because they've thrown in an older version of, say, the multi-tool, you're getting the kit at a bit of a, a discounted price and maybe that's exactly what you want so it's not necessarily you're not going to buy the kit because they've got a slightly newer version of multi-tool uh, and in the kit there's an older version doesn't mean don't buy the kit just means you can get it at a really good price so just shop around and have a look having had a look at all these tools in here i reckon this this kit is about 20 to 30 percent cheaper than if i had to buy these tools individually so it is really, it's a good deal to buy things in a kit form, particularly if you're new to the environment, you haven't got any of their tools, you're wanting to get into the DeWalt ecosystem, starting with a kit is a great place to start. This kit also comes with a battery charger, which will charge all the different types of DeWalt batteries, so that's good. Comes with two four amp hour batteries, 18 volt batteries, but weirdly, it also comes with a 12 volt 3 amp hour battery. Now, none of these tools take that 12 volt battery. So I'm not sure why DeWalt included that battery. I'm not sure if they're trying to get rid of stock because they've got a whole lot of these batteries lying around. So they thought they'll just chuck them in a whole lot of kits. But really, I haven't got any other DeWalt tools. So that 12 volt battery is absolutely useless to me. I factored that in when I bought the kit. I wasn't thinking, hey, I'm getting a good deal here. I'm getting a 12 volt battery. I just took it as if I wasn't getting that battery, calculated my costs and thought, well, I'll get the kit anyway. So let's open this up and see what's inside. Okay, so let's have a look at what we've got inside. First of all, we've got the DeWalt charger. Okay, and that will charge uh, 11 volts, 12 volts, 14 volts, and 18 volts. So it'll charge all of the batteries. And uh, so that's pretty good. Uh, looks like we've got a couple of batteries here. I imagine these are the 4 amp hour batteries. Let's just open these up. So the four amp hour batteries, there's two of those, there's one in there, and that just clips, clips onto there like that, and charges up. You push it off to release, so that's the battery. And here's the weird one, this is the three amp hour battery which no idea why this is in the kit it won't fit any of the tools because as you can see it's it's way thinner um, it does fit the charger uh, because it's got the smaller um, uh, gap over here anyway don't know why that was in there what else is in here? Okay, we've got we've got the 18 volt brushless uh, hammer drill driver. So it's got the normal drill mode, the hammer mode, and it's got a clutch that goes up to 15. It does. I will be doing a review on each of these tools individually. So in this video, we're just going to have a look at what's in the kit. Let me let me just stand that up there like that. We 
It's also got an 18 volt brushless impact driver. Uh, it's a, it is important to note that this is a single speed impact driver. The next model up of this is a three speed impact driver. But if that's not important to you, if you're happy with a single speed, then this is, this is not a bad deal. Will that stand on its own? Yes, it will. Good. Okay, then next up it's got the multi-tool. So this is uh, also a brushless 18 volt multi-tool uh, which has the quick release uh, change button. Uh, the next model up of the multi-tool uh, also has a, a variable speed uh, adjustment. So this is just a basic single speed multi-tool. Once again, if you're happy with that, uh, it's going to do the job for you, then consider getting this in the kit. Something that is really good is that the multi-tool comes with a delta head and it comes with a heap of um, sanding pads, so delta pads. So that's, that's a pretty good deal right there. It comes with two um, multi-tool uh, bits, so one for metal and one for wood by the looks of it. It's got an allen key and it's got a little attachment that goes on the bottom here. So, so not a bad deal, I mean to get all those sanding pads to get two heads with it, that's pretty good. Okay, then it comes with an angle grinder. And it's brushless as well, which is good. So it's got a brushless angle grinder here. It's got a handle that can go on either side of the angle grinder. You can just screw that in. Now, did it come with a blade? Let's have a look. So no blade. Let's check the pockets. Uh, no blade for the angle grinder, so just bear that in mind. Okay, then the circular saw. Uh, it's brushless, which is good. Um, it's the 184 mil circular saw, and looks pretty good actually. Uh, there's a big Allen key here, which I presume is for. I'm not sure what that's for. Um, doesn't, oh, maybe it's for the angle grinder actually. So this massive Allen key is for the angle grinder. I don't lose that. And then inside here, in a little cardboard case, is the circular saw blade. It's a 24 tooth, 184 mil blade very very thin blade so <laughs> it's got an extremely thin kerf anyway well it's good to get a free blade i'll probably be replacing it with a diablo blade or something like that but uh, anyway good to get a free blade with the saw um, it also comes with a with a guard a saw guard which will go on the front and uh, there's two belt clips uh, there's also a, a dust port adapter for the saw, um, so that will that clips on over there, so you can attach your dust extraction vacuum while you're using the saw. So that's that's good to have. Uh, a couple of little screws to screw that on. The case comes with a strap. Uh, it's got instruction manuals for all the tools and I think that fits. Got a couple of pockets, a couple of pockets inside. Uh, it's not a bad case. Uh, that's what's inside this five piece kit. Um, I, I think it's really worthwhile. I think it's a good kit uh, for the money. I think uh, yeah to get to get this range of tools uh, I think this is a good saw. It's actually this is not an entry level thing. It's well, it's well made. There are cheaper saws that Dewalt produce, 
Uh, in fact, looking at all these tools, yeah, they may not have all the features that some of the high-end tools have, but overall, I'm pretty happy with this. Other than this weird little 12 volt battery, which is, it's almost like I bought a car and they gave me a bicycle wheel as a bonus, which I'm not going to use at all. So anyway, it is what it is. And uh, so that's, so that's the um, DeWalt Atomic Compact Series 18 volt 5 piece XR brushless kit. What a mouthful. Okay, so that's the end of this video, having a look at what's inside this five-piece brushless kit from DeWalt. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that it's given you some insight as to what goes into these kits, what are the different technologies to help you make an informed decision. Uh, I can't urge this enough. If you're looking at buying a kit, make sure you look at what the product numbers are in the, in the kit so that you know exactly what tools you're getting. In future, I'm going to review each of these tools individually and I'll be comparing them against other tools of different brands. So if you don't want to miss out on those videos, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. God bless.